up, everybody? Now I'm working on a sound effect for that little effect he's, uh, ability he's doing where he zooms around the screen quickly. So I needed some kind of like sound, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Got this one sound I know. Where did I put it? Some kind of like. Oh, here, I think it's this. Might be able to make something out of that. Okay, so this is going to be a two-part sound. Start off with that whiz. And throw in a massive. Do something cool with the massive, make it kind of fade in all sweet. Like maybe I will start with... Met Metron, Metron, Metatron, dash, little dash of meat here. Um, yeah, I think maybe this Metatron landing sound might be. And then I've got this other one, tractor. Yeah, this could be Okay, I want to see. I think this is a pretty short effect. Oh, I happen to know. Yeah, it's 0.9 seconds, I think. About 0.9 seconds. Well, after 0.3 seconds, even he's done almost. Huh, let's see it. Just to illustrate how long it is, I'm going to play the tractor beam sound as the dash. Just to see if a longer sound effect is going to be appropriate here or not. Because he's got a trailing animation, so it might sort of feel right, even though it's it logically seems wrong. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Something can logically be wrong, but feel totally right. There's a lot of games. Okay, 
cool. So it definitely needs to be at least half as long. Let's get this note a little shorter. Oh yeah, this thing is dipping. So, mm, mm. I'm thinking this should go upward at least too. So shorter and upward. Maybe there. That's an A. Really? Oh yeah, the A sharps. All right. No, too low. Maybe too much. Yeah. Fifth would be depending on this key. Yeah, we want like an F. Let's keep it there. <coughs> Tail. Put it out to there at least. Okay. All right, before I mess with the sound, I'm gonna export this and see, you know, the most biggest part here is the duration. How long does this sound effect last? Once you get the duration down, then you can mess with the details. Same thing with art. First you gotta throw something in, just see how big it needs to be. At least that's how I work, I don't know. Everybody's got their own way of doing things. Seven, and it's that quiet. What? a lot where he just lands and then immediately does this. Should definitely have a timer is less than zero. I guess he should have a little timer at the end here too.
Ah, okay, so it needs to be a little quicker. Actually, if this were warped. And then, uh, so what are we at here? This is um, about 0.75. Push that all the way up to 160. Alright, I'll just give us a little quicker. Uh... Yeah, okay. The character of it too is going to need to be more light, higher pitched. doesn't want to do it so I think that this thing could be like this Totally. Give me more sound. But now it's right about the same, the right length, so I can mess with the actual details of the sound. And then I want to make sure it gets. So go. Definitely higher than this. It's up to at least negative six. It's more like negative nine on average here. Solo the sound. Less reverb, maybe size. Yeah, <clears throat> much better.
this is what gives it such random um, overall amplitude. Okay, see how that character of this new sound is feeling with the overall effect and all that. Character of the sound is going to make a huge difference here. Oh. Replace! Don't ever ask me if I need to replace. Ah. Computers. Wasting my time every day. I'm a busy man here. Everything there that bugged me the most was the reverb, actually, which is typically a cool thing with this. Well, I guess. It's Might have been the dimension. Let's get that noise to release. So get that increasing hmm. Give this a shot, I guess. Is that or this? Yeah, actually, C sharp's better. Baby! Hey, baby! Filming a video in here. How you doing? Long day, even longer one tomorrow. Mm. How's your day? Good. You want to close the door? Yeah, I will. <laughs> 
Sounded good. Sounded good. Maybe a little less actually now that it's all. Oh, we forgot that sound. Hmm. B lower. I think this massive has some major. Yeah. Take all that off. And I think I already maxed out the volumes. Even though overall that's quieter, it might actually seem louder. Ah, uh, the beauty of the logic. Is illogic a now? Acquiring minds want to know. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. Is it that keeps rising here?
that? What is that? Much better. Too quiet. First draft done. Almost done with this boss. God. Got tired of working on this boss. Been on this boss forever. And, and, now we work on the ending. Um, okay, so if you're paying attention to the stream here, I've just did, made a sound effect for Metatron here, the final boss of Songbringer. However, this is not quite the final boss. This is, there's actually a final, final boss, just like most RPGs. I am not going to do that this week. I don't have time. Because I still have to do, um, he's got four pet snake, well, maybe five. Bunch of different kinds of pets of snakes that are all elemental. One's a fire snake, one's an ice snake, one's a fear snake, and all that. Um, so I'll, I have to spend the rest of the week making those and get the rest of the tower finished because I gotta get a release out by this Friday. And so that, what that all this means is basically I cannot, I don't have time to finish the final form of Metatron where he turns into another enemy and you fight him even bigger, better, and all that. So. I'm going to save that. I'm going to have to make this kind of like my rough draft version of the final dungeon and all that. And then eventually I'll come back and make it all better. And then it'll be the final version and all that. So basically what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to create a, a, a just a tiny little segue, a transition that takes you into the credits. 
Um, and I'm going to say something like, hey, this is not the quite the, the actual ending of the game, but you did beat Songbringer beta version, something like that. So there you go. That's what I'm working on. Just to give you some context. So right now when he dies, he does his boss explosion, but it's only a quick one because he doesn't have an item. Right? He has an explosion size. It's big, but probably not big enough. Should be taller. He's really tall. What how big should this be? Approximately approximately like this. Fifty by one twenty. All right, so he does this whole explosion size thing. He does at once. So we need to be able to detect if this is the final boss. Hmm, I guess I could just take his name to be Metatron. That'll be fine for now. All right, so at once is going to be not his final boss. Doesn't drop any items. smarter this way. Shorter. Do I um yep. Or do I if not his final boss? Cool. So he drops no items. I want this total duration. I want him to just do this forever. What's the count? Count constants is level. 60. Okay, this is going to be a triple turnary. Because I'm lazy, want to do it all. One line, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double the blood explosions. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so he's going to explode for a long time while he's decaying into just a helmet and some, some armor. And then the screen's just going to scroll upwards into the sky as it fades out and then it says something about that's just the beta version and then it goes into the credits and the score
Yes, so gratuitous. Totally ridiculously long. I love it. I love it. Okay. So it was a little tall, actually. Yeah, explosion size, and you know, see half the size there. And it's dying animation could be slower. Let's try that. Already, this is looking good. Let me check this in. Now, what am I saying? Ah, eh, yeah. Atomic commits. So I believe what happens is it goes in, into um, flux credits. Flux ending because he contains the item ending. Okay, it's right here in the same function. All right, so total duration plus five. Let's not do that. Let's do, let's do one second. And then it goes right into flux ending. So we've got phase ending. Wait, let's do what? Yeah, ending is walk to ending close credits. Why would you walk to? I'm gonna go ahead and preemptively take that out. Make sure I didn't mess anything up there. Destroy top pad, cancel all dialogue. Right. OK, 
Okay, so we're not going to do this animation. We are going to scroll the camera up gently, which means right here we're going to need to be creating. I think this is already given. So we're going to create an extra gradient here, and then we're going to scroll screen upwards. Then we're going to add beta notice. I think we can already do the scroll the screen upwards. We're gonna do a lens. Oh, let's see, let's see. Let's see. There's zoom or there's slide. Let's slide. Like zoom moves the outer camera, slide moves the inner camera. We want to try the outer camera first. This is going to be like at least a 10 second thing. We're going to push from the current camera pause to Designer is Y approximately. It's a nice gentle linear. And if we're going to do that disabling of outside additive going to want to re-enable it just in case some other effects somewhere use it So slower. Ah, ah, ah. We gotta correct the camera. Let's give him one hit point so he's super easy to kill. In fact, he's gonna be like way stronger than he already is. And let's also put on his so he can only dash if he's in mode two, phase two or whatever. Okay, and I think we just wanna go from lens, get camera pause to
easy. See if that fixes that. And then we'll do the extra gradient. right there, a little blood. Oh, we don't want to do the flux iteration. Instantaneous. That should move us back. Yeah, there we go. Okay. God, I just realized the rain is gonna look weird. Everything is gonna look weird, actually, unless I. Unless I move everything except for the rain in the background. So I barely just basically just move the entire every every single entity. Move it. Move it, move it, move it. That's it's kind of crazy. Two separate ideas on how to do this. Let's do the one I think is right. Need gradient.
So we're going to fade from the watercolor to black. No, just to something. Which will be black for now. Maybe just a really deep, deep purple. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so that should give us an entity which belongs to the current area. So as soon as the area is cleaned up, it's deleted. And it should be the size of the whole screen. It should be a gradient from the watercolor, which is the background color in this case, to some other color. Let's see if it works. It's a zero negative one vector, it's gonna be opposite. Oh well. Let's see if it if it's in the right position first and the right size. Get about nice. Lane. Let's say you're, oh, maybe PZ. And since I'm really lazy, trigger the ending way early. And we almost shouldn't even do the zoom.
Where does it do the boss zoom in? That might be it. Ah. So still we don't see the gradient. Where the hell is the gradient? What's up with that? It's weird. Let's put it on top of everything. Right where this, right at zero, right above everything. It's opaque. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, and maybe this thing is what's, what's doing that weird thing. Okay, so it's um, uh, set set camera mask default camera flag flag that should put it above here. Let's try putting the Z. No, I'll see everything alone. So many layers of cameras. So many layers of cameras it makes math almost impossible to understand intuitively. Understand logically, I mean. Intuition is the only way to do it. Proper Z.
sucks. It, it's it's rendering it outside. Put pretty much we need to can't do that. I think we need to do this lens slide effect actually. Let's not worry about correcting anything here. I think it's the same. I think um, the source might need to be muted. Let's see here. So this will slide the inner camera, the inner camera, and outer camera. either. You'd think this would be a really simple thing. Uh. Well, I need to ponder this, think about it. So I'm taking a break. Video over. Cheers, everybody. Hmm.